Hey guys, it it is me again, Hui, and today we're gonna get a reading. You know, you know it because I knew it. <laughs> Actually, it must be like this. I knew it. Really, <laughs> it's good. And what are we gonna do today? Was Reading a book. Name was. Oof. Sorry. Quite shaking. Good. Can you see it? The tale of Benjamin Bunny. It's the style of holding again. Oops. I cannot. Uh, Need a little help from the elbows. No finger. Where did it come from? Yeah, go away, finger. And this, really, this was a book name, The Tale of Benjamin Bunny. Uh. Come on, wait me. Wait, because like I need to put it out a little. One morning, Bella, a little rabbit sat on a ba- bank. He pricked his ears and listened to the chitter, ch- chitter of a pony. A gig was coming along the road, and has been, and was driven by Mister McGregor. And beside him sat Mistress McGregor in her best bonnet. Sorry, I need to put this down too. So the left hand would help the right hand to turn the page. As soon as the happy passed, little Benjamin Bunny slid down into the road and set off with a hop, skip, and a jump. He called upon his relation, who lived in wood back at the back of Miss. Mr. McGregor's garden. Come on, why did it so hard? Why did you keep my hair always sticking into my mouth? That wood was full of rabbit holes, and the nearest, sandiest hole of all. Live Benjamin's aunt and his cousins, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and Peter. Old Mister Rabbit was was a widow. She earned her living by knitting rabbit wool mittens and muffet muffeties. I once bought a pair at bazaar. Hmm. She also sold. Herbs, herbs, and rosemary tea, and rabbit tobacco, which is what we call lavender. Weird, weird, dude, super weird. These mouse even called these beautiful flower named lavender turned into a name. Oh, hello, Hen. Get out of the camera. Thank you. Little Benjamin did not very much, much want to see his aunt. He came round the black back of a fir tree and nearly tumbled upon the top of his cousin Peter. Rude, rude. Peter was sitting by himself. He looked poorly and dressed in a red cotton pocket handkerchief. Peter said, "Little Benjamin," in a whisper, "Who has got your clothes?" "Yeah, who has got his clothes?" "Did he make it?" "I think so." Peter replied. The scarecrow in Mister McGregor's garden. 
and describe how he had been chased about the garden, and had dropped his shoe and coat. Little Benjamin sat down beside his cousin and assured him that Mister McGregor had gone out in a gig, and Mister McGregor also, and certainly wearing her best bonnet. Ooh, best bonnet. But I don't really know what is a bonnet. Okay. If I do not really know what is a bonnet, I only need to mark it down so I know I remember that word, and then I would type in Ethernet.